Hi, David Weck here, and today I'm gonna to teach you something called the striking step. It's about creating a pulse of power throughout your body that connects your body from the hand to the foot. It's going to effectively give you a power pulse of efficiency where we wedge the body to harness the gravity ground reaction force with better timing and position to give you more efficient running stride. I'm gonna teach you two techniques to drill it and learn it, and then I'm gonna show you how to apply it so that you can learn to run with greater efficiency. You're gonna begin by making a fist, but it's not gonna be a conventional fist because this is a very constricted posture. That's why we instruct runners, never clench a fist when you run. So what you're gonna do rather than this is you're gonna fold the fingers flat for this and just wrap the thumb around it. I'll be using a core fist and you can learn more about the core fist at weckmethod.com, but for right now, fast and easy is right here. Fold the fingers flat. You begin with an uppercut just clapping the hands together. It's not about hitting it hard, it's about the timing. And what I wanna do is I'm going to land on the right foot, I'm going to connect with the right hand. And so it's just this motion right here. You wanna set up through a power position so it's not a lot of arch in the back. And you just wanna time that sequence. And it's just, think of it as a super fast, instantaneous pulse of power that as soon as it hits it just disappears so you're not carrying tension and it's that timing and positioning here you can pick up the pace and what you want to feel is imagine that when the hand is striking here imagine that it's the heel that's striking up to the hand so there's a connection it's unification the hand is the foot to make that happen okay you're obviously going to do that with both sides you can switch, and it's just getting that timing right, that little power pulse. So that's your first drill. You just drill that full balance on the foot to striking. And I will sometimes do sort of a, just a one, two, three, and pause it. One, two, three, four, and I'll climb up a ladder. One, two, three, four, five, and I just get that timing synced up. Next technique is a run and punch against a surface. You want enough weight that it's going to prevent you from moving forward. And the idea is that if we want to move forward, we have to drop into backward. And that dropping backward is going to wedge the body forward. Don't hinge forward at the hips and push and lean. Power position so you're leading from the pelvis. And then it's just run and punch together and as soon as boom, 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 as soon as the foot is landing, you're projecting the punch forward. And it's not a fighting punch, it's a projecting punch where I'm just wedging and that picture like you were doing a plank or a push up where it's just that solid, it's connected to my core and you can even keep it inside the hip joint. And the idea is if the bag isn't there and I boom, it's going to send me forward, boom send me forward and the bag stopping me teaches me how to just relax drop my weight down the bone alignment through the power position the fist and the foot gives me a wedging effect where i'm harnessing the gravity ground reaction force and creating what we call effortless power and you can do this as a conditioning exercise as well if you just run and punch Make sure that the timing is on, and then increase the speed. Do that between one and four minutes. You'll have a nice little cardio set, but more important for the purposes of this exercise and technique is you're gonna to start to create that connection where boom. So, you practice those two techniques, you get comfortable with the timing. Now you go to apply it. The next time you go out for a run, you start very slowly. And the idea is that you're just going to connect and you're going to imagine that when the foot hits, it's a strike. Don't chase it. Gravity's coming down at 9.8 meters per second squared, so let it come to you. So it's here, 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 here. And you just run and pulse and boom. It's a pulse of power that as soon as that foot hits and the hand you visualize as boom, there's a connection make it disappear as fast as it happens and just change to the other side.
and you just sync that up. Boom, 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 boom. And you go nice and slow. I'm not actually jogging because we're not in this space, but it's just that simple. And imagine that, imagine that when I land here, imagine that you could support all the weight that possible through your bone structure. You want it to feel like, boom, you could load up 600 pounds and I'm in a position through a power position of the hip that is just gonna, boom, I have total body structural integrity for just that split second. And then you time that, and then after you've done that, you forget about it. You just run the way you wanna run and you let what you've developed seep in and materialize through muscle memory. The more you do the drill here, and you can turn the wrist to, to palm down, turn it to facing you, boom, 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 create a little spiraling action in it. But the more you assimilate that timing and the positioning, the more it's just gonna ingrain muscle memory. Then you'll be able to use it and apply it, and then it's just gonna change that timing, just sync up the hands and the feet. Any good runner will tell you that the hands lead the body. The hands will dictate the pace, and you want to time it up so that the hands and feet are perfectly synchronized to create a cleaner ground strike. And we call it a ground strike for a reason, because it's the force that you hit the ground. As long as the structure is not collapsing, you want to hit the ground nice and hard, nice and fast, so that you create a better stride length. And if you have the structural position, it doesn't beat you down, it actually fortifies and you create bone density through that striking action onto the ground. So, I want you to try that out. If you have questions, send them in. I wanna answer the questions for you because this is a really useful technique. The people that I've taught it to, it's transformed their Tough mutters and their Spartan races and their half marathons because they feel that. And then you wanna advance it, you go to weckmethod.com, you learn the core fist, and what this does is it changes the internal balance so that you can actually use tension now to create relaxation and looseness in the core. It's, it's sort of opposite of what happens when your hands here. So, like I said, for now, just fold the fingers flat, run and punch into the pad or the bag, do your little uppercut, pop, 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 go out and apply it and see what happens. Watch my other tips for head over foot, power position, because it's a whole body, systemic unity is what we want, and I'll bet you you'll be a better runner. And if you're not, ask me questions, and we'll dial it in, and you will be. Check us out at WEC Method and WECMethod.com. Stay tuned for more tips. Thanks.